I think we all know by now that most influencers act completely different in real life than they do online. And some influencers have been brutally exposed for actually being terrible people in the real world. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into the top 10 influencers who are mean in real life. Also make sure to subscribe if you're new here. In at number 10, Hailey Bieber. Hailey Bieber was called out by a TikTok influencer, Julia Caroline, when Julia made a video series exposing celebrities that were rude to her while she was working as a hostess at a popular Manhattan restaurant. In the video, she commented on Kylie Jenner and the Hadid sisters. And when it came to Hailey Bieber, she rated her interactions with Hailey to be a 3.5 out of 10, saying in the TikTok quote, this is gonna be controversial. I've met her a handful of times and she was not nice. I really wanna like her, but I give her like a 3.5 out of 10, sorry. But most shockingly, Hailey actually responded in the comments of that TikTok, apologizing for the situation. Responding in the comments, saying she's quote, so sorry if she's ever given her bad vibes or a bad attitude. So it's hard to say if this was just a bad interaction or pattern of behavior, but it's great to see that Hailey apologized. And at number nine, Dobre Brothers. Last year, a video went viral of the Dobre Brothers meeting a fan at a meet and greet. And the video is honestly heartbreaking. The girl walks over to the group for her picture and none of the people in the group even say one word to her. One of the brothers just lifts up his arm to put it around her for the picture. And the people in the group barely take the effort to even muster up a smile for this girl who probably paid a lot of money to meet them. After the clip generated tons of outrage online, Lucas Dobre apologized, writing quote, we just want to apologize. After a long 48 hours of restless filming and touring, then meeting thousands of fans with no sleep, we were exhausted by the end of our show. Our true apologies, we are sincerely sorry. But honestly, if you can't even crack a smile for people who paid to see you, you literally don't deserve fans. Like, I'm sorry, that's how I feel about that. And at number eight, Demelio Sisters. The Demelio Sisters were called out for being mean after they released a vlog style video where it looked like they were being rude to their personal chef. The video was a dinner with their family and a special guest who was revealed to be James Charles. The sisters were called out big time when their personal chef, Chef Aaron May, started serving their dinner. When the paella was served, Dixie picked something up and made disgusting faces as she tried to figure out what it was. We learned later that it was a snail. And instead of just, you know, putting it down like an adult should do, she proceeded to make gagging noises. Then she actually ended up puking right at the table like it was nothing. After all that happened, Charlie then asked her mom for dino nuggets because from her facial expressions, it looked like she was not enjoying the dinner at all. And then on top of it all, the sisters were incredibly cringy and awkward in their own YouTube video. And the entire video was just mostly James and the parents talking. And at number seven, James Charles. After James Charles called out the Dobre brothers for how horribly they treated their fans, some former fans called called out James for his bad behavior towards them. And now deleted TikTok tells the story. Apparently the fans were at the airport when they saw James. And when they tried to go over and talk to him, James's manager told them that he was too busy to talk. According to the fan, James didn't even look up from his laptop to acknowledge them. The fan said, quote, he didn't even have the decency to literally look up at us and at least say, hi, or I'm sorry, I'm busy. But James told his side of the story to Keemstar, saying that he didn't know the fans wanted a photo because they never actually asked for one. They were mainly just taking pictures of James from afar, with James adding that he said a fan had a bad interaction with him. And at number six, Summer McKean. Summer McKean was called out when leaked videos surfaced from her Finsta page showing mean behavior. Several of these videos included her laughing and making fun of fan edited videos. There were also videos leak that showed her using racist language. The whole thing is really worse when you consider that these fans took the time out of their own days to make these edits of them and then they were being mocked. There was also another video of Summer and Hannah Maloche making fun of a fellow influencer who had gone on a brand trip with them in the past. All in all, the videos that leaked were polar opposite of who fans thought that Summer was. It was hard for a lot of people to see her the same way after. Halfway number five, Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star was called mean and a bully after he called out a fan on his Twitter. It all started when Jeffree congratulated someone on getting a job at Ulta Beauty, with the fans saying that she was starting the day Jeffree's collab with Morphe was coming out. And it's a very common thing in the makeup community for fellow artists to promote themselves under huge gurus tweets. So one fan took this opportunity and replied to the tweet with a picture of a makeup look that they were really proud of. But Jeffree did not like this and decided to publicly call out the fan for quote, making this about themselves. In the slew of tweets, Jeffree called out the fan for their frequent promos on his posts and told the fan to stop making things about themselves. The fan replied on their own Twitter, devastated 
motivated by the interaction and said that they had spent hundreds of their hard earned dollars supporting Jeffrey. And honestly, I don't think there's ever a reason to call out a fan publicly like that. In at number four, Gabby Hanna. Gabby Hanna was called out when she privately DM'd someone on Twitter who accused her of doing something horrible to her former friend, Jesse Smiles. When the fan's tweet that was critical of Gabby started going viral, Gabby decided to DM that person on Twitter and gaslight the fan into changing their views on Gabby. Many said that the behavior was toxic and manipulative. They also called her out for using her power dynamic here to silence the fan and get them to delete the tweet that was calling out Gabby. Gabby later apologized, but many stated that this was not the first time that she tried to gaslight people into taking her side of things. And at number three, Willy Wonka TikTok. Massive TikToker Willy Wonka TikTok, real name Duke Depp, was called out last year after he called a super fan annoying. The fan named Autumn Salazar dedicated her account to being the counterpart to Duke's account, calling herself Miss Wonka. But she decided to call him out publicly after she discovered that he called her annoying in private messages. With him adding, quote, I don't want to give her any attention. She begs for me to notice and follow her every single day. Apparently, he also reported her account to TikTok and forced her to change her username because Duke wanted to be the only Willy Wonka related account. Autumn responded to all of this saying, quote, this is so rude that you report your number one fan that has been here since day one. After the scandal, Duke's account was flooded with hate, but he claims Autumn was lying. But honestly, it's hard to refute screenshots like that. In at number two, Lele Pons. Lele Pons, formerly the world's number one Viner, got in a massive scandal when it came out that she tried to take down one of her best friends because Lele saw this friend as competition. This friend was Amanda Cerny, and Amanda exposed Lele when she realized Lele was trying to destroy her career. Apparently, Lele knew the code to Amanda's phone for months and would use it to delete Amanda's most popular popular Instagram pictures and videos. Lele also deleted Amanda's first YouTube video twice. Pons then used her massive platform to accuse Amanda of deleting her content, and that was the reason why they weren't friends anymore, when it was actually the complete opposite situation. And this clearly proves that Lele will do anything to stay on top. And lastly, number one, Jake Paul. Unsurprisingly, the top of this list is Jake Paul. Jake Paul is known as the internet's wild child, which he has now made his official brand, calling himself the quote problem child. When he started Team 10, he moved his teenage friends into a huge house in Los Angeles, but he caused so many problems for neighbors that they all band together to get him kicked out of that house. Jake has also been called out for being toxic and manipulative by past girlfriends like Alyssa Violet and Tana Mojo. Both women felt that they had been played by Jake in the relationship. And while these women were with Jake because they actually loved him, Jake was only with the women for views and clout. So that's all for the list guys, let me know your thoughts below and was there anyone I missed that could be in a part two. But before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments from my video on influencers canceled in 2021. One user said, I don't support cancel culture but I accept the cancellation of James Charles and Tony Lopez. What they did was disgusting, completely agree. I think most people agree with your point on that. Molasses Music said, A first comments club, also who the F is Amanda N. Singh. Yeah, I honestly hadn't heard about her until this scandal kind of erupted. Then Michaela Devine said, never this early, been watching for years and I love the show. Thank you so much also, I heard you were getting roasted in the comments for saying, you know, show, shijo instead of show. But I get the vibe, we appreciate you being here. Thank you so much, Michaela. All right guys, that's all for the video today. Thank you so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and want to see some more, make sure to like and sub to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and I will catch you all in the next one.